Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back. I hope you all had a great weekend and if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah and now let's get into tutorial number five. We were so bright, standing in the sunlight, never got burned. We were alright, had the easy. So the topic that I'm gonna be showing y'all today is a writing effect that you can apply to your titles. So instead of going into Premiere today, we're gonna be going into After Effects so I can show you how to create this effect for your titles. Okay, so now that we're in After Effects, let's go to new composition. And let's change the name to writing effect. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and you can put the duration to whatever you want. I'm going to do 10 seconds for this tutorial and make sure the background color is solid black and then press OK. Now the next step is to go up to layer, new, and let's add a solid. We can leave the name the way it is and make sure the color is solid black. Press OK and OK again. All right, now let's go up to layer again, new. And let's put a text layer. I'm gonna use my name as an example, but any text, any title will work. So let's type in Gus Noah and then let's center this a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now let's go up to layer again, new, and add another solid. I wanna call this tracing and make sure it's solid black again. So press OK. And now the next step is to go down to the timeline. And you're going to see tracing and Gus Noah. Grab the tracing layer and put it underneath Gus Noah. Perfect. Now the next step is to do the tracing. So we're going to go up to the pen tool right here. And we're going to trace each letter with a mask. So just like this. You can start right here at the beginning. And just follow the line with the mask. And then go down like that. Perfect. And then we're not going to connect the mask where it's like a circle or whatever. It's literally just going to be a line. So after you're done with the last point right here on that letter, you go back to the one before that you put and click that to deselect that mask. And then you go here again, creating a new mask. Just like that. And then go back and click it again. And you're going to repeat the same thing for all the letters with different masks by tracing them. So let's go and do that now. Okay, now that we did all the tracing with the mask, let's go over to effects and presets and type in stroke. Right here. And then let's drag that onto the tracing layer. Perfect. So then now let's go into the effects area right here for stroke. And let's make sure this is checked off right next to where it says all masks. That means this effect will apply to all the masks that we put. And then let's go right here to brush size and increase it to where it fills in the letters kind of want to fill it in just like I do around like 15 right there that looks good and then the next step thing the next step for this is to look at the mass and you see how like some of the letter is pointing out you want to grab that point and drag it to make sure it covers it like that you want to make sh by fine tuning it, you just grab the points and drag it out. Perfect. Drag it out. Perfect. And let's do this last one. And then we're good. Okay. Now the next step is to go right here to where it says end. And let's drag this all the way to zero. And then let's go forward. To right around there or well, actually I forgot my bad let's go to end press your see the little stopwatch symbol right here let's activate a keyframe for that and then let's go forward to round three and then put this back up to a hundred perfect okay now the next step is to go to the tracing layer on the timeline right click or double click 
and go to pre-compose right here and make sure that move all attributes into the new composition. This is selected, not the top one. And then press OK. Now the next step, uh, next thing to do, go to the timeline and you're going to see TRK map. And if you don't see that, go down to toggle switches and just switch it till you see this pop up. Then you're going to go right here to the middle and you're going to go down to Alpha Mac Gus Snow right there. Perfect. So you don't see those fat lines anymore. And then let's play this through and see how this looks. All right, guys, so that's how you do the writing effect. And if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I will be trying to do a tutorial a week. And thank you for watching.